Hey guys, welcome to my live stream. It says I'm live and I'm going to I've just got to make sure that I can um, Hey, okay, there's my chat. Can anybody see me yet? If you can and anybody's here, please give me a shout so I can tell. Just want to make sure this thing's up and running. It says I'm offline. Why am I online? Why am I not online? We are yay okay okay I am live I'm working on this hedgehog and he's got a little perked up nose I have pictures of hedgehogs on my iPad over here to reference I'm waiting to see if anybody shows up here because I would like to see chat if there is any. There we go. Just a minute. There we go. Okay. So, hey, Laura. Oh, good. I'm glad you're here. Now I'm not talking to myself anymore. <laughs> I don't really like talking to myself that much. So here's Babette in the gardens, hedgehog. I hope she shows up. Oh, well, I'm sending you a hug too. <laughs> what I'm doing is, hey, is my feet okay? Can you hear me? I can't tell if how it looks because I'm not running it at the same time. I have very slow internet here, and if I tried to like watch my feed at the same time as um, <laughs> doing this, that really wouldn't work out so well. So um, I'm building up the back right now to give Mr. Hedgy Hog. Oh, it, I'm sorry. Babette says it's a girl, Harriet the Hedgehog. So we're gonna. Build up the back to make it more curvy. Then I'm going to add some ears and eyes. And um, I initially formed this shape by starting it out as a bowl. And then I put a piece of saran wrap into a bowl. And then I pressed it really well to try and even it out and make sure it was pr pretty much even thickness all around. And when I took it out of the bowl, I just kind of squished the sides in to make the hedgehog take shape. And that's where I'm at. Now, in yesterday's live stream, I talked about uh, the fact that I'm drawing horses on this teapot, which is right here, by the way. Okay, so I got this horse on the teapot. I was doing that while we were talking. And then I put a rooster on the teapot and a horse, and there's a girl right there. Now, I... I'm not familiar with drawing horses, so I had to watch some YouTube videos and get a little lesson in drawing horses. And some people said, hey, hi, Sir Can. <laughs> okay, so um, I think you showed the pronunciation. Please show it again for me. I know you only showed it to Katie because you like being called Sir Can, but maybe you should be called like Monsignor Can or like the Honorable Can or uh, my big fat can or something like that. <laughs> okay. Yes, Laura's lovely. You guys should meet. So what, uh, a couple people mentioned that they can't draw. I think you can draw. I think if you can write letters on a piece of paper, you can learn to draw. There's no magic ingredient 
that a fairy, like when you were being conceived, like a fairy flew over your mom and dad and waved a magic wand and this like fairy dust came down and suddenly you could draw. No, that's not how it works. How drawing works is effort. You have to, you have to practice, okay? You have to get some instruction because it's not about, you know, if there's a dot on a piece of paper and you tell someone with pencil, put the end of your pencil onto that dot on the paper. Well, they can do that, right? What they can't do is see. And they don't understand that. They say, I can see. There's a dog over there. You know, that's not seeing the way an artist needs to see. The way an artist needs to see is almost like flattening what's in front of you into a two-dimensional idea. You have to see where the lines intersect. I just got a message from Frog Tax Sanctuary. He's not in here. Hi, Michael. Okay, listen, Michael. This is what we're talking about. We're talking about you and your comments. And somebody else, is, somebody else too said, um, can't draw anything but a stick figure. And here's the other. I wrote down some of the responses of what people say to me on a, on a regular basis. Um, I can't draw, uh, I can only draw stick figures, uh, and I can't draw a straight line, which is not very original because everyone says, I can't draw a straight line, but that's not, uh, drawing a straight line doesn't really help you, okay? Also, being able to make the mark in the right place on the paper the first time is not important either. What it is, is being able to see where lines intersect, intersect in space. So, I brought a demonstration item for you. See this tiny chair? Um, when my husband and I were first married, we had, uh, like at the end of the week, after paying all our bills, we had about five bucks left over. You know, we could stop what Mr. Can. Okay. So, uh, we didn't have any money to do anything, but we did have, we did have glue. So one day I said, let's get on our bikes, go to the park and get some sticks and make some chairs. Because, you know, that's a rational thing people do, right? Crickets. I heard crickets. Did you hear crickets? Um, well, uh, we went to the park and we made chairs. This was his chair. My chair didn't even survive this long. It was so atrociously rickety and bad. But the man can construct a chair. This is just out of twigs. And he, he got to a point where he knew exactly he, he wanted to use redbud tree twigs and... Um, and then I made a chair in ceramics class in college, which was, that was before we were married. And this is my little, from ceramics class, my only foray, super dusty. My only foray into ceramics uh, was this one class in college. And I was not very good. I, I was supposed to spend more time, um, you know, working on the wheel and practicing and stuff, but I was goofing around with my friends. I had just, I had just finished a four-year college, and then I went to Uni University of New Mexico School of Art for a while, and um, was just, you know, getting baked. So anyway, uh, not really baked. I, that sounds like I was taking drugs. I wasn't taking drugs. Hey, just a second. That awful moment when you feel like your nose is running and you have to run off camera and get a tissue. Okay. <laughs> so, um, here, I'm just adding little pieces of clay while we chat. But anyway, one of the lessons when you take an art class is sometimes to draw a chair. A lot of people will draw a chair with the seat facing forward like this and then draw this part upright so it looks like there's nowhere to sit. I mean, it's in space, when you look at a chair, you see, only see this short piece here. Or maybe if, if the chair is tipped towards you, you might just see this little very narrow strip of rectangle. So if you look at where the lines are in relationship to the background space, that's how you draw the chair. If you were just to take pencil and just draw the shapes, the negative spaces, you could draw. I mean, it's just about seeing, really. And it takes a little practice. And in my little Amazon store, I think it might be in the link below, I don't know. Uh, I tried 
to put it in there. I put Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. That's an excellent book to start your foray into drawing. And it's not hard, and it doesn't take that much time, just a little time every day. And you can draw too. Anybody can. If you can make a mark on a piece, my writing is chicken scratch. The only time I write neatly is when I'm engraving for jewelry. And that's only because I'm holding my pen with two hands, or the engraving uh, bit, and steadying myself and holding it. So trust me, this is, this, this is achievable. Anybody can do it. Not everybody can learn to sing. I, not a, I'm not saying that everyone's, you know, there's certain people with voice problems that can't turn to sing, but tone deaf is fake too. Don't listen to people who tell you you can't do something. It's achievable, Michael, no matter how much you say. Michael, stop it. <laughs> oh, sure, certainly. There, is that better? Okay. Hey, Irene. Glad you made it. Who else is here? Okay. So, can you see me now? My, <laughs> my touch screen on my computer is failing up. Ah! Just a sec. Okay. Uh, my touch screen on the computer was failing up. I've got it right behind my phone. I'm using my phone, and this program comes called something like Chameleon Live, I think. Did Babette show up? I was hoping Babette would be here. Okay. So yeah, don't don't tell me. I don't want to hear it anymore. I can't draw. If you want to draw, you're going to learn to draw. If you say I can't draw, what I'm hearing is I don't want to learn to draw. There's a thousand videos out there, some of which I watched yesterday on how to draw. You have to allow yourself to be crappy the first few times you do it. I'm gonna form a little ear. I just took a little ball of clay and smushed it out and I'm just gonna see where I wanna position the ears. I think he needs ears up here. What do you think? Unfortunately, I just don't think I can do the hang the Google Hangouts at the same time as working. But I can, you know, pontificate on other subjects at the same time. Oh yeah, it is early for Babette. That was, was that rude of me? What's it like eight o'clock over there? Okay. I don't even know what time it is. Okay. So that's a little, that's a good start right there. I may move it later, but I want to know where the eyeball is going to be, too. I didn't really get much of an education in sculpting. Mostly drawing, painting. I did take one sculpture class, and I barely passed. I was really spending a lot of time, you know, having fun with my friends. Going out to bars and... You know, I should have probably taken a break after my first college before going to my second college so that I could have gotten serious about it. Okay, I made two marks where I think the eyes are going to sit. Okay. But, you know, it's funny because some of the people who have criticized me in my life about what I was doing, like the person, a family member who told me they didn't like my business name, Silversmith, which is entirely made up, by the way, if you're wondering. It's um, because you can't copyright Silversmith, the correct spelling. So to be copyrightable, uh, I needed to, or is it trademarkable? I needed to make up something that would work. Other criticisms, when I was first starting jewelry, um, I was told that I wasn't a real, yes, this is supposed to be a toothpick holder. Um, all the, 
many of the little um, spikes on the back will actually hold toothpicks, which is a challenge because clay shrinks. So I'm going to have to put toothpicks in it while it's wet. Uh, let those pull them out, let it dry, because if it dries with the toothpicks in place, the clay might crack. Okay, the clay is going to shrink. By, I don't even know exactly what the shrink is on this kind of clay. So then I'm going to have to drill the holes bigger and hope that toothpicks, <laughs> toothpicks fit. Okay, no, I don't, I don't mean that. I mean, that my family wants me to be successful, but they think they're helping and sometimes they're wrong. That's, what, that's kind of what I mean. You know, they think they want, um, I mean, they want the best for me and they don't want me to get hurt. For example, one said something like, you don't want to be on YouTube because the people are so mean. And that just, it turns out that's not true. You guys are awesome. You guys are like, I wake up in the morning happy that I can make videos and I, I know you guys are going to show up and watch them. And I think that's, oh boy, I kind of messed up this, this eye area here. But I thought if I, if I raise the eye area, then I can, once the clay is a little drier, I can, um, I can kind of sculpt out the eye the way I want to. But that's the, that's the general position. I got the eyes in the correct place, I think. Just have to study the photo. Yeah, but I've found that like there's the rare person on YouTube that I just don't really want to deal with. Very rare, you know, and that just has to do with people who get pushy with me. I don't like if people get pushy. I don't like them say, you know, I'm not following your channel unless you're following my channel because that's, I mean, I want you to be here if my content's good. You know, I can't necessarily, I was hoping to get huge. <laughs> You know, I want like, I want lots of subscribers, more than I could possibly follow. And, and how could I be fair, how could I fairly say that I could follow everyone back and watch all their videos? I can't even watch all the subscriptions I have now. I don't have time. Um, I want to, but there's, you know, there's only so many hours in the day. I don't expect anybody to watch all of mine, but I want you to watch it because the content's good. But people are, people have been super nice and supportive and just incredible. Just so, just so you know, I found that, you know, the people are so mean comment. Well, they probably are. Like I've seen people who, and I might, it might be just a younger crowd that just doesn't, hasn't grown up yet and acts like they're in high school and they, they get to abuse people. I've seen that on other people's channels, but I don't think it's really that prevalent. Yes, Michael, you're really great. <laughs> I usually either listen to Pandora um, for radio while I'm working, or I'll just watch some of y'all vi some some of y'all's videos. But it gets hard with the clay on my hands because I want to like. Um, sorry about that. I was working on the backside there. I was aiming the hedgehog's butt at you like not on purpose this time so okay Irene I'm gonna be on until 10 30 so if you're back you're back okay otherwise you can watch the video later after it uploads yeah the this this live thing is entirely new to me so I didn't know like <laughs> I didn't know where the video was. Like right after I streamed, I'm like, why isn't the video up there? Well, apparently it takes a while to process and get ready for regular viewing. This is a wood carving tool, which I um, co-opted for. I don't have proper clay tools yet. This is the only like actually designated clay tool that I have. Everything else is just something I grabbed out of a, a tool bench. So I have a little flat half circle here and I'm just bending it to go. So yeah. So when I was a kid, I didn't have any kind of artistic talent. 
It's just that my friends were in art class, and I probably said something stupid like, I can't draw a straight line. And then, but I, so I decided to go up, go in and hang out in the art class because if you want to learn something, you take the class. You don't just cop out and say, I can't do that. I mean, Michael thinks I can sing. And that's one of those things that for years, when people said anything about singing, I'd say, I can't sing. Well, you know what? I went and, I went and got on YouTube and pulled up that Felicia, what's her name? And hey, check it out. <laughs> I can sort of sing. I, if I took lessons, I could actually learn how to sing without, like, you know, breaking your eardrums. And sometimes I just do it silly to be funny. And generally, uh, it's pretty entertaining, you know, in the shower. That's where I feel like I can sing the best. <laughs> Except I really, like, want waterproof sheets for music. Uh, because, like, you know, I never know the lyrics to anything. And I was thinking, waterproof music sheets for the shower. Isn't that perfect? What the Hey, Michael, are you making a steak? Oh, I haven't had steak in so long because, um, as you know, I'm a total tightwad, and steak is just too expensive. It's just not fitting in the budget this month or uh, any time recently. Also, when my husband does a certain uh, thing at work, he gets a bonus of steak bucks, and so we get free steaks sometimes. And, you know, last month, you know, as you know, it sucked, so we didn't get any steak bucks. So I, didn't, so I haven't had a steak in months. <laughs> I really want one though. I really like. I crave. I'm a I'm a meat person. Last night we had um, baked potatoes and bacon with cheese. That was dinner, and corn. <laughs> I can't wait till the garden comes in, then I can get some more variety in the vegetables. I planted a bunch of stuff. But anyway, I was talking about art class. Oh, so yeah, so I started taking it, and my first drawings were. Horrendous. Just like the first time I drew a horse yesterday. I showed you that picture in my other live stream. That was ridiculous. One of the eyes was like over here and one was over here and it was like the head was here. That was just so scary. But I was like, and then at that point I'm getting a little nervous because I have promised a teapot with a horse on it. So I start thinking, okay, what am I going to do? Well, I'll go get, I'll go take a horse drawing lesson. How hard could it possibly be? It's not hard. You just have to try it three or four times. And, and then it happens for you. But I do, although I haven't, I don't draw much now, I do know the concept of knowing where to see. And I have the confidence to know that eventually I'll know, excuse me, I'll know when my drawing's not right because I'm looking at it. Oh my God, laminate the sheets. Yes, yes, that you understand. Well, yeah, so I know when I'm drawing that, uh, I mean, or when I have drawn something that I can look at it and go, something's not right here. Some people, I keep having to tap my screen because my phone screen goes black. Some people, I forgot my train of thought. Just a second. Oh, some people are certain super proud of their artwork like they and somebody said something like I draw a stick figure and be proud of it yesterday I hope he watches this and sees I'm talking about him or her I don't actually know which which one that person is um, the, being over proud of your artwork is a big mistake in my opinion I've seen people who Oh, my wife's an artist. Let me show you her work. And I look at it and I think, did she, did she even try? You know? And then I think, okay, so the problem is, is not that he's being over proud of it, but I've seen individuals say, oh, I'm a, I'm a great artist. I'm an artist. And you look at it and it's horrendous. And so that's the problem with being over proud. Wait till other people you know, tell you that it's really good, I think, before you start being too proud of it and trying to put a huge price tag on something. I know when my stuff isn't good enough, and I, so I don't put a, a crazy price tag on my work. I know how long stuff takes, and that's kind of, now I have a better way to judge. I think this guy needs a little, some, some little detail on the nose. They have, um... Give him a little detail for now, so because you're looking at him. 
And I don't want you to feel bad you're looking at a hedgehog with no nose, like you can't breathe. You feel better now? <sighs> so, does grass-fed steak taste a lot different than, than uh, you know, the store-bought stuff? Because chicken eggs are a completely different story. I see that you're all talking about steaks in there and killing me. I did have breakfast. We had um, eggs and some more <laughs> green pancakes because apparently if you um, make green pancakes in your bottle and you don't clean it out and you just keep adding more and more pancake mix to it, then your pancakes keep coming out a paler and paler shade of green. St. <laughs> Patrick's Day is going to be lasting for a very long time. What does that mean? What is your hydro cost for firing the clay too? That's got to be. What does hydro mean? Does that mean my electric bill? Our electric bill hasn't changed much at all, but my kiln is tiny. And clay is relatively cheap, but the glazes, uh, luckily I was given a, you know,